So, turns out the water system in this building is too old and everything goes through like the thinnest quarter inch pipes. So we couldn't actually use my service cleaner, but I got a little bit of clean. And now the rest is dried. And oh, you know, oh right, I was gonna do the thing like, like, like this, or, this old house thing, okay. Oh yeah, so, so this is the, the this old house in town, okay. architecture going on and everything goes through a little bit too thin of pipe so anytime we try to use the service planer the pressure just drops they're gonna have to fix that especially since they're planning to run a restaurant here but I've decided to go ahead and start painting and we got a little bit of work done let's let's go see what we did with that I can't remember how they said <laughs> damn it either way I painted some let's go see what they we did that that's what they say Gosh. I think that's it. They were sure that it wouldn't need two coats, but I mean the gray uh, over the bluish gray, sure. But over the green, yeah, you're gonna need two coats. Oh, that was a wreck. Oh. Huh. You hear that? Oh uh, yeah. Was that a rear ender? Someone busted someone's light off. Or a uh, window. Oh shit. Wow. Huh. I don't know. You can, yeah. Um, don't be to mind to hand it back to you like that. I don't care. I mean, <laughs> wow. They both lost their mirrors. Crazy. You know, I think I'm going to start on the, on the high part. I mean, I've already started, but. Now I will say I've gotten some really good paint and primer once as one coat deal. Yeah. But that was in, on an interior wall and I was painting over a darker color, but it's pretty expensive.
we got a little bit of gold. Soaked right through, that's weird. Yep. <sighs> I'll deal with that in a bit. I'll get the pressure washer. Actually, should I do that right now? Yeah, do it now. Ooh, came right up. Yep, good as new. Yeah, I wonder, I do wonder if it is actually mixed enough, though. It is. Yeah. I mean, maybe that's... Because this is not mixed. Oh, I see it's gold base. Maybe tinted. Okay, I see. So that's the base color, and this is the color they made. Right, okay. Okay, so that's what they wanted. Oh, so that's that's it. And that's on point. Yeah. Tomorrow I'll come back and I'll put another little coat of paint on. And maybe we'll get the water supply fixed so we can do more work on the uh, sidewalk. So it's been a few days and I've gone through and put a second layer of paint on a lot of stuff. And we removed the LED lights. That was so enjoyable to do because I hate those trashy looking lights. And then I found that a, uh, a neighbor gave me a toolbox of free stuff and this was in there. And so I've been using this to scrape to great effect. And I've come through and I'm making sure these lines are all very, very crisp. Now the thing that sets me off a little bit is that there's a bunch of stuff on the inside too. So I'm just doing my best I can for now. And then I'm going to be switching to the inside and I'm going to be removing all the tape and such. And then I'm also, I'm also going to be continuing to remove stuff. I'm gonna remove this red LED rope light. And this is looking really nice. I've used the our uh, car's window cleaner to clean this window and now I'm going to clean this window you can really tell the difference with that being said this will get a second pass unfortunately there's a bunch of streaks and stuff on the inside as well you know what it doesn't quite show up so that's good yeah to my eye, I can see more of the, the dirt on the inside, but to the camera, it's more apparent that you can see the outside surface. Okay, yeah, so there's a difference visible. Oh, and I forgot to, I forgot to paint this, so I have to do a second coat on that as well. I have never painted a building like this, nor a restaurant, even though I've helped with the 1925 house. This is pretty cool.
been another day and I'm walking back to the restaurant now because they just gave me a bunch of lumber. A bunch of thin stuff, quarter inch lumber that I can make crates with, a four by four post, some two by fours. It's pretty nice. And even like a 12 by one shelf board. And I did some more work. I got the LEDs off the inside as well. Oh my God. So a lot of the work was that the past three coats of paint have were just splattered all over the glass. So I spent like a good like four hours just scraping that off. And there's still some, but I can't tell if it's on the inside or the outside. And I got the outside a lot more cleaned up to where it is pretty good now. I'm really happy with this. And then I'll, I'll do the inside. Although I already scraped a good amount of stuff that I could reach off of the inside, but I painted, I'm, I'm going to replace the window on there in a few days. And I even got the pressure wash. Look how this looks. I re you can tell I really need to redo that part that I pressure washed last fall. Seems this will be probably a uh, twice or three times a year thing that I have to pressure wash these streets. And they just gave me some extra wire, 12 gauge, and another piece of wood. Since I normally charge $20 an hour for this stuff, since they're, they're, you know, they're putting a lot of money into this. They're a nice, sweet couple. I'm going to give them a half off discount. So this all was like $130. And I think they probably got, I mean, I don't think that's a bad price at all to charge for painting, scraping, fixing windows, stuff like that. So I'm really glad that I can be in a position to offer really cheap services because that's the only way that these buildings are gonna get restored. And without having you guys here, they'd be a lot harder, so thank you. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for subsidizing all my projects. See ya.